Thank you. Uh, thank you to the, uh, the NAACP and to Ms. Uh, Phyllis Ellis and her leadership team for doing something that is of great value to me and to the community at large. And that is simply bringing the community together in this fashion to engage, uh, to engage each other and to engage the other candidate. That is priceless in the city of Brockton. So again, Ms. Phyllis, and to the, uh, the um, NAACP, thank you for bringing the community together today. For those of you who don't know, my name is Marlon Green, and I humbly submit to you today that I am a candidate for Brockton City Council to represent the great ward of Ward 3. Approximately 30 years ago, two of the most courageous and selfless individuals that I know, my parents, Bertie and Loris Green, made the bold decision to relocate my siblings and I from the great island of Jamaica to the wonderful United States of America. And they did that decision And they made that decision with all intentions of securing a stronger and a sure future for their children and for generations to come. They did that simply because they wanted more for their kids than they had as adults. Over those 30 years, we have benefited tremendously from this country and from the great city of Brockton. I was able to go off to college and to be the first in my family to graduate from college with an undergraduate in economics. And then I went on to, to undergraduate school and completed my master's in management. Uh, for the past 18 years of my life, I have committed myself to serving my community through the, uh, the avenues of ministry. I've brought people together all across the other spectrum for a positive outcome. The impetus of my campaign is similar to that of my parents, leaving a strong and a better legacy for our generations to come. The impetus of this campaign, uh, the impetus of this campaign is similar to that of my parents and to that of uh, this event today, bringing the community together. Bring everyone together at the table where you have a voice, you have a say, and you're fully aware of what is going on in your community. In the words of the late uh, Toni Morrison, as you enter positions of trust and power, dream a little before you think. And so today, my friends, I dream of a city and a ward where the quality of life is uh, significantly higher. I dream of a city and a ward where we're all fully engaged. I dream of a city and a ward where we are building today for a better tomorrow. Thank you and join me as we build. <laughs>